Shriners Hospital, Shriners Children's Hospital charity ball. That's right. This bike was actually ridden on the Cannonball uh, this last September by uh, Chopper Dave Monson. And uh, he put about a thousand miles on it. It's a very difficult event, and that's only a single cylinder Harley. It's a single speeder. And uh, at the end of the event, he decided it would go to charity. And his favorite charity is the Shriners Hospital, which will treat children, especially children with burns, for free. Uh, it's an incredible, uh, I actually have a friend, a dear friend whose son was badly burned when he was young, and he spent a few weeks in the Shriners Hospital. What a godsend that was. Yes. And the head of the Shriners is actually here with the bike. And I think it's fantastic that this is, uh, and look, we're already up to 17,000. Yep. What a great thing to do. I love when people donate their motorcycles to charity. And this is really a custom where I have to presume that probably the engine is very correct. But I think a lot of the motorcycle itself is sort of been fabricated, built up. He did fabricate a lot of it. Started with an original motor and, and then built the bike around it. Okay. Uh, I think enough of it was real, quote unquote, to qualify to for the cannonball, and uh, you know he made a he made a noble effort. Eighteen thousand. Who's got it? It's got to be the most difficult rigid motorcycle sure. event in the world. <laughs> now I can request the United States thirty six hundred miles on our real motorcycle. Relentless time. That's good. Very very cool. Went to the uh, museum in Springville, Utah. Thank you, Rick. Excellent. Twenty thousand dollars, and the proceeds, as we said, going right to Shriners Children's Hospital. Every dime of it. Okay, here's another Henderson, and this one is selling at no reserve. The second year of the Henderson, 